Well, hello, model car fans. Welcome to the Muscle Car Modeler. My name is Ralph, and this week I'm going to continue on with uh, the second part of my mold making and resin casting beginners tutorial here. As you saw, I did the video on making the molds here, and um, the three different types of molds and what you will need to to do that. And like I said, this is still geared for beginners, and here I'm using Alumilite's. Uh, resin here. This is RC3, which uh, liquid is solid in just seven minutes. So this is fast acting stuff. So uh, you got to get kind of used to that. And here's the two parts, part A and part B. And like it actually says, you've only got two minutes to work this stuff. And but you can pull it out of the mold in five to ten minutes. But I leave it in the mold longer than that. Um, so you got to mix it up pretty quick. It comes with mixing cups, which have some measurements on the side. Uh, which I will use the milliliters on the side here and you will have extra when you pour it in here don't worry about um, how much you use and I use one cup I just have two it comes with two and I've actually bought more where I go to the um, like Walgreens or CVS pharmacy and bought uh, medicine cups sometimes you can buy a package of 10 or 20 medicine cups which have uh, measurements on them as well um, but this one only has milliliters uh, on the side so since I do equal parts I'll fill it up to five and then I'll fill it up to ten with the other one and then mix it together but you gotta work fast it comes with the uh, sticks which this one as you can see I've used it a couple of times already and then here's a toothpick um, I'll use this when I open a mold and I'll use this to pick in here so when you see me doing that I'm picking in here and squishing the bubbles out and forcing the resin in the pockets here and this one's the envelope style mold. This one's the two piece style mold. And there's just different ways of doing both of these. So I'll, I'll pour a little bit of each one, but I'll work different areas. And this is my open one piece mold. And then I'll use the toothpick where this one, the armrests, there's little, they're on this side where the holes are. I don't know if you can see them right here, but I'll use this. I'll push it in here and squish the air out to try and get the resin in there to make the handles for the armrests um, which are the release handles for the door panels because this is for the GTO but GMA bodies and then the air cleaner so I'll use this to squish any of the bubbles out and work the bubbles to the top uh, to make better parts so but you gotta work kinda fast and then I've got this is just a marker believe it or not I'll use this to help pull and bend the mold open since this is an envelope style mold and it, it naturally relaxes closed so I'll use this to pull it open so you'll see me working in here so it's kind of going to be difficult for me to put the resin here and work here and sometimes you need multiple hands and then last couple things here paper towels in case you spill which is going to happen um, especially if it's not mixed you can use the paper towels if it's already mixed just let it pour onto the here and then uh, let it harden and you can peel it off uh, which I have a small part right here too from one of the last times and then last thing is a heat gun um, you don't have to have a heat gun per se um, I have one but use the low setting I don't use the high setting for this uh, no reason to and then when you're doing this you'll kind of have it kind of far away but the reason for the heat gun is when you're doing the small parts and you mix this stuff you'll feel it as you're mixing it and I tend to stir it 20 to 30 seconds or count 20 to 30 and I'll do that out loud for you guys but as you're holding it you can actually feel when the two chemicals are mixed they'll really start to get hot so if you haven't used uh, this before you'll feel it get hot but as it's concentrated in here when you pour it into the mold the mold will absorb some of the heat and when it thins out especially the small parts it has a hard time getting hot and you'll see that I'll show that in my video and you will you'll see it kind of stay brown and some of the thicker spots will turn white and you'll need to warm it up well, I'll use the heat gun and I will warm it up just you know not I won't get too close but I'll get kind of far away three or four inches and just blow it on there and let it get hot but I said you can actually use a hair blow dryer, blow dryer as well. And uh, I have done that. It's probably better to use a hair blow dryer than a heat gun. 
because you really don't need to get the resin that hot, but it'll get pretty hot. Um, I've heard of people actually warm up their molds. I've never done that. Um, this is a really soft silicone and uh, it can tear kind of easily. So it's really not, um, it's more of the, a beginner's type of silicone. Like I said, it's usually easily available at any Hobby Lobby and it's easy stuff to find. Um, so it's it's good for beginner molds and and stuff like that. So I'm gonna start doing some of this and this is gonna be more in real time like when I made these molds it was a stop and go. Now once I've actually poured the resin and I've warmed it up and I just let it sit and harden I'll leave it alone for 15-20 minutes and then I'll pull it out but I'll do a little here and a little there because it happens so fast. So um, without further ado, I'll, I'll start with, uh, um, we'll start with this mold right here, the, the smaller one, so you can get an idea of what it takes. And then, like I said, you're going to have leftovers, and it doesn't matter which one you start with. Um, I'll start with this one, so you can kind of see more, get it up to the five, which is where I'm going for, which is more than enough. And then... Here's this. Hopefully the camera angle. I kind of have to put the camera above me so that hopefully you can see. There, now it's 10. So there's equal parts right there. And then start mixing it. One, two, three, four. See, it gets a little milky. Five, six, seven. And it'll start to clear out. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And it gets a little bit of air bubbles in there, but um, it becomes more of one light tan color so you mix it up well of course I've lost count of where I'm at but I'm starting to feel it's starting to warm up a little bit yeah so I'm gonna stop right there and I'll put a drop or two in the armrest because I'm gonna start there well, that was more than a drop or two but now I'm gonna work the air out of that portion and get the air out of that portion so hopefully they come out pretty good all right now let's do the air cleaner and the other two parts and okay and then now just work it around get the air cleaner because Right, in, there's a lip on the side here, so make sure I get it all there. And then the turn signals, just working the bubbles out. That's all I'm doing right here. And at this point, I'm going to leave this. You can also squeegee this stuff off to the side, which I've done before. You see that's already hardening. See, it's turning solid. That's already hardening because there's more resin in there. And the chemical reaction is happening faster and getting hotter. This is starting to get milky. You can see it right there. So it's already hardening. Once it, that you can feel as you get used to this stuff, that that'll start to get more jelly, less, less liquidy, and you're running out of time. Um, but you'll have lots of waste. Don't worry about it. So... That's pretty much hardened. This one, you can kind of see where it's thicker, it's hardened, and it's thinner. So I'm going to lift that up to the, so you can kind of see where it's thinner and thicker. The more brown is um, the liquid, and where it's more white, it's hardening. And it's hardening up pretty good. Um, but it's still really soft and really flexible, so I'm going to leave the mold down there. So now I'm going to turn this on and start to warm it up. And this will get hot enough to actually melt that, so kind of stay away from that, but staying three or four inches away. And it'll start to warm up, and you can see it's starting to turn more white. It's definitely getting more uniform in color so the resin has gotten hot enough to work here.
All right, so that's looking pretty good. That'll get really hot, so don't touch that. And you can feel the warmth of this, and it's feeling pretty solid. So that's pretty good. Now I'm going to move this one. Just put that over there and let that cool. And this is why I have multiple cups usually, because this is hardening. It's not ready to come out. I'll let that sit and harden, and I can pop it out of there. And then the two mixing sticks. So now I'll try this one. And uh, it doesn't matter which order you mix this. I tend to like to start with the darker one because you can see better than the clear one. So I'll pour that to five and then it's splashed out. That's why you got the paper towels. And pour that up to the number 10. And we'll start mixing it. And if these sit for a while, you should shake them before you use them. Because especially the solids one, it'll settle at the bottom. And I just splashed a little bit more. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, that's uh, mixed up pretty good there. Now for the challenge here. Now the table may get a little shaky here, but split that open. Start pouring some in here. And then I'll take this and work it into the areas that I know air is getting trapped and then the ends of the spoiler and then I'll pour some more in there there we go let it close relax that's good, but I'll pour a little bit more on here. This is kind of waste anyway. But it also helps it get warmer. And then you'll see that start hardening, which is just starting to do. Yeah, this is starting to do it too. So yeah, you can see it. Hopefully the camera can pick up on it, but it's starting to, to harden there. So we'll help it along with the heat gun. See, hopefully the heat gun helps transfer the heat from the resin into the mold and harden. If you've got a deep mold with a lot of um, deep cavities, it gets a little harder to get uh, um, the heat in there because the silicone can soak up that heat and it will stay soft and you'll have a flexible part um, if it even hardens at all. That's why, that's what makes the smaller parts so much harder to cast is because the mold will pull the heat away and it makes it hard and harder for this stuff to harden to work and harden so the heat gun really helps with that so right now I'm gonna uh, pause for a little bit and we'll you know we'll resume here in a second but I'm gonna let this harden that harden and then we'll do this mold uh, the two-piece mold and then we'll start pulling some of these out and see how they came out well, it's been about 15, 20 minutes here. Long enough for me to put the dishes away and check on Ryan. So, we'll just uh, pull this off and clean out these cups so I can do another 
See, it's just waste. But don't worry about it. So you start to see what, uh, how much waste there actually is when you do this stuff. If you haven't done any resin casting before, you can kind of see how it gets expensive for the casters when it comes to equipment. And this is, like I said, this is the basics for beginners kind of stuff here. This stuck to the table. And then, there we go. And let's mix up another, another bucket here and do this one. Like I said, this one's a two-piece. And I got vent holes here to help push the air out. And a couple of different tricks here. And I'm going to have a lot more overflow on this one because it's going to squish out as I pour it and put the second part of the mold in. There we go. Let's start mixing this up. Always do this right over the table, your work area, because you can splash it out, spill it, and you don't want this stuff in your carpet. Because you will not get it out. Don't ask me how I know that. It's also one of the reasons why the paper towels here, if you really start to make a mess and it flows out, you have some recourse. There we go. See, it starts to <laughs> All right, so this I'm just going to pour right in here. There's really no bubbles to work out of this here. Here's where the trick comes putting this in and trying not to make any bubbles here. So I'm going to dip this in right here, start pushing it down. I'll use this and I'll kind of push from the center and let it slowly flow out. And hopefully I don't trap any air in there. We'll see at the very end here. Okay, and if you push too hard in the center, it'll actually push the silicone out and suck air into there. So this may take a couple of tries and a couple of, uh, to see how I do here. But okay, we got that part done. Let's warm it up. Yeah, I'll wait a little bit. I'm getting a little too ahead of myself. You saw I was starting to push it. I need to wait for it to gel or harden up a little bit more. So we'll give it a little bit of time here. Yeah, it's starting to harden, so I'm just going to put the heat and start farther away. And I'm just fanning over it. And you can see it's actually starting to activate there. And you can see the hot air actually blow it and push it around, but as it starts to harden, make sure I get the, that part hardened on the side, even though it is just trash. It's easier to pull it off when it's hardened. If it stays gummy, it's harder to clean up.
Okay, that's good enough. We'll set that aside. And while that's hardening, let's see how we did on this stuff. Now remember, I've got a couple of parts that are this way. So as I pull this off, I'm going to pull from this side, only because I remember that's there, and I'm not going to pull it straight out because I will break those, and I'll pull it out sideways. So since it's very flexible, I'm going to do it this way. So here we go. and get up close to the camera here. So you start pulling it. You can feel it pop. And then pull this side at the air cleaner. And it broke. So I still had air pockets in there. So it's trial and error. But the rest of the armrest came out good. I can make those or get the bubbles going. Um, some of these turn signals came out pretty good. I got a bubble in that one. But I mean, sometimes you're going to do a couple and you're going to have rejects. It's just all part of it. But uh, the air cleaner pieces came out great. So I got a complete air cleaner out of this, this one. And looks like uh, at least two of the four turn signals um, are looking pretty good there. So I'll set that aside. And let's see how the spoiler did. Now sometimes it'll take you a few times to start learning where the bubbles are going to get trapped and how to get them out without breaking them. Okay, so really don't see any any bubbles on this side of the spoiler. It's still attached. I have to cut it, trim it with the razor blade, and I'll cut that free. So. Uh, the judge spoiler is looking pretty good. I'll still need to do some body work to it. But uh, I'll cut that free and we'll see how that comes out. So those two are cast. And then I'll take another pause. And we'll get back to this one after I give it another 15 minutes or so. Well, we've given it another 15 minutes. So let's see how this went. As you can see, it's stuck to the piece of wood here <clears throat> and let's see how this part came out uh, looks like I got a pretty solid part right uh, right off the bat which is a bit surprising um, still feels a little bit soft let's see if I can get some of this off without breaking the part See, it's pulling on the pin there. See, I got these pins. Let me pull these out. Hear them snap. There we go. That one broke kind of far up there. But now I should be able to get it off. There we go. Ah, oh, that one came out really well. Cool. Very nice solid part there. I gotta trim all the flash off of it, but uh, there's a convertible boot. And just clean some of this off of the mold here. It just pulls right off. The silicone doesn't stick to the resin or vice versa. So it makes it pretty easy. Now, if you noticed, I didn't use any mold release. Um, that's just something I generally don't do, especially when I'm doing um, a few parts, which is all I plan to do here. You can use mold release. It'll help your molds last longer. Um, but like I said, I would only plan to just cast a few. So I'm going to do a few more here. But uh, that was the goal of this video, was to make some, show you how it's done, and um, just give you some tips and tricks for beginners. So I've made a few. I'm going to pause here and I'm going to make a few more and we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to continue on here a little bit. So uh, stick around and we'll see how it goes. All right, kind of nearing the end of my day here. Uh, made a couple more spoilers. So this one I ended up getting some bubbles here at the tip. So 
there's a couple of bubbles there that uh, I ended up getting in that one, which I can fix that. Um, that's not really a big deal, but I got a, um, my first one came out really good, which was this one. The second one, I got a bubble in that one and a small bubble in this one, but um, I really only needed one more for me as far as, and besides the master. So I'll probably do another one or two till I get uh, another good one, but those came out really good. And uh, had a couple more where I still got some bubbles in these armrests. And I'll, I'll keep trying on that. And I got a couple more really good air cleaners. Um, so I got a, a few with the snorkels. And the snorkels came out good. And I got a couple more sets of good turn signals. This set, I actually got a nice set of armrests. So I got one more, one set of really nice armrests. So I'll, I'll end up pouring a couple more in here where I'm just going to focus strictly on this part and not worry about the rest of them. Um, may do another air cleaner while I'm at it because these seem to really go easily without any issues. But this one's a challenge, so it's uh, not a very high success rate as far as getting the bubbles out of there. Another thought is I can always just slice it to where I can pull the bubbles out straight um, instead of the way I'm doing it. But uh, and, and I can give that a try. I'm, I'll do one more spoiler later. But what I did have when I was talking about when you're pushing this down, if you push too hard, it can suck air into the mold. It happened to my second one. You see it right there? I've got a bunch of bubbles in it. So, but um, it's actually fairly solid where it's got a real nice skim coat. So there's actually a way to save that. So let's, uh, let's experiment with it. And I've done this before. To save a part and I've seen from resin parts that I bought where they the casters have done this as well so cut the the back side of the bubble out try not to poke through the front because that will just change everything so pull that out and I'm really just doing this to show you this I really don't um, care if I need to save this one or not but I have done this to save especially if you got when you cast a big body and you've got one or two bubbles in it so there you go you can kind of see where I've cut them but they're still on the other side and it appears that there are really no holes it's got a very skim coat so let's have a little bit of fun and experiment here and I'm not going to need all of this resin uh, let's just fill it to the 2.5 mark, which is the smallest mark on here. There's the cap. And bring this to the 5. Alright. The good news, at least this way, there's no silicone to pull the heat away. So you can let this build up more heat as you mix it up. And uh, you can actually let it gel too if you want um, and pour it in there. But it gets a little harder to actually get it in there. So, all right, it's starting to warm up. So let's just start dripping it in there. more drip in there okay let's get one drip there here we go one drip right there and all right and then we'll use the toothpick to try and make sure we get the bubbles out and we'll leave that alone we'll see how that comes out so it should come out pretty good um, We'll let that do its thing. And I'm not going to use the heat gun to warm it up because um, it'll actually warm up all the resin and soften it. And then I don't want to warp it too much because you can use that to warp it. But I'm just seeing if I can save it. But uh, when it comes to these parts, I'm only recasting these. So I'm not planning on selling these. So uh, don't look for them. 
that's somebody else's work without really getting into that argument because there are some recasters. Yes, I am recasting. Um, the only parts that are really original are these turn signals. Those are original kit parts. But since the air cleaner is an armrest is somebody else's work and the boot is model house's work, I'm not looking to resell them or sell a bunch of these. And then this spoiler is uh, AFX and scales. Even though these are none of these parts are actually available anymore, but I'm not going to be casting them and selling them. Hi, dear Dad. Hi, Ryan. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. You're doing great? Yeah, so am I. I'm, I'm doing a video here and casting some parts here. This is starting to harden up. And I poured some in here. You see it? Yeah. Yeah? So I'm going to turn off the camera and I'm going to let this stuff harden and we'll see how it goes, okay? No. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to. All right, well, as you can see, I gave it uh, 15 minutes to harden and let it do its thing. So there it's filled the holes. And this is a much more solid part. And there might be a, a small air bubble here or there, which I could fill with super glue. But uh, for the most part, you can say that this part has been saved or is now salvageable. So I can use it as is. But that's how you fill some of the major holes if you want to salvage a part. And uh, you can do this to resin bodies. If you get a resin body and, you, and it has a hole in it like that, um, you can fill it as long as one side is good which is what this one was like so it didn't uh, come through so even though I, I can make another one I decided to see if I could save this one so there you go there's another little tip for you for how to do that and uh, you can trim the inside of this if you need to it's pretty it's actually still kind of sticky but um, uh, came out pretty good so there you go that uh, kind of completes this segment here so if you guys you want to try this and um, different ways of making molds and different ways of, of casting them. Like I said, I don't plan on selling any of these parts. But those of you who did watch my video on my truck, my little Red Express truck, and saw the Air Cleaner Master, many of you have reached out and asked me to cast this and make this part. Well, my goal here is to show you guys how to do this stuff so that you guys are comfortable and can try it on your own. That's my main goal here is to show you how to do this stuff at home. Um, at a beginner's level so while I did make this and you saw how I did the snorkel um, it's in my videos there but um, Marty Koffel which is a local guy a friend of mine that I've known for years he actually cast some of those trucks the extended cab and, the, and different beds um, he asked me about this air cleaner as well so I've talked to him and I'm gonna let him cast these so um, I'll have another announcement in the future for that. So I'm going to let him have this master and uh, to borrow because I'm, I'm going to want it back eventually. But uh, I'm going to let him um, borrow it and he's going to cast it. So this air cleaner for you truck fans is going to become available. And uh, like I said, this is uh, my part that I did master. So I'm going to let him uh, produce and sell these for you guys. So a uh, future update on that. Um, don't know when I'm going to get with him on this and I think him and uh, Greg Wan I'm gonna talk to him the master caster about possibly getting into his shop and filming and videoing um, what uh, a professional uses and all the equipment because I've seen his equipment he's uh, um, taught me a few things so I'm gonna take uh, talk to him about possibly taking you guys on a tour of his shop and his equipment and what uh, a more professional level of casting and making molds and vacuum chambers and some of that stuff um, just to show you some of that so stick around and, and no promises there but I'm gonna talk to him but I'm pretty sure he'll be open to it as he you know likes to train people and, and show people what goes on behind the scenes too so I'll talk to them about that but uh, thank you for subscribing and tuning in and all your comments I really do appreciate it and I hope this was very helpful for you guys and you guys you have a wonderful Saturday and I will see you again